Hey, hi, welcome students of course and free secondary. Welcome to your class. Today we have the topic about personal goals. Okay? A personal goals mean in Spanish metas o también objetivos personales. Bien, students, it says what would you choose as a personal goal? You have a, a set of pictures, okay? And you have to choose only one. What would it be that? Hmm? The first, buying a house, hmm? because you are observing some people buying a house, right? The next picture is get promoted. Get promoted when you are uh, good in your job and then your boss uh, promotes you. Aquí pues tu jefe te asciende, ¿no? Es conseguir un ascenso. Bien. Then you have go to college. It's the same to go to university. You have the fourth picture, which is a graduate. Tienes una graduación ahí. The next picture is rent an apartment. Rentar un apartamento. The other, the next picture is start a career. Empezar una carrera. And then you have get married. Que te cases. And finally, the last picture is about traveling abroad. Mm -hmm. Now let's practice. Here you have the set of pictures that uh, previously was shown. Okay, and what you have to do is to practice the pronunciation because you have the labels. Aquí ya tienen las etiquetas, chicos. Lo único que hay que hacer es practicar. Bien. The first one, buy a house. Get promoted. Go to college. Graduate. Graduate. Rent an apartment is the next. Rent an apartment. Rentar un apartamento. Okay. And finally... Start a career. Empezar una carrera, students. Start a career. Cuando ya estás desarrollando tu carrera profesional. Bien, chicos, no cuando estamos estudiando, ya cuando lo aplicas. ¿Ok? Now let's put in practice the final words of this vocabulary. Vamos a poner en práctica estas dos últimas palabras del vocabulario. ¿Ok? The first picture is get married. Get married, casarse. And finally, travel abroad, viajar. Travel abroad. When you visit to other places around the world, okay, and you become a tourist, cuando te vuelves un turista y viajas alrededor del mundo a conocer nuevos lugares, you can say travel abroad, okay? And if you want to be specific, travel to Europe. Y si quieres ser más específico, viajar a Europa, ¿no? Travel to Argentina, viajar a Argentina. Siempre poniendo la preposición travel to. Para ser específicos y mencionar el country o el lugar, okay, students? Fine, we are going to also practice some grammar structure to apply with this new vocabulary. Okay, guys, so we have to understand that we are going to apply the simple future tense that we previously studied last week. Vamos a aplicar, chicos, el simple future para esta nueva gramática junto con el vocabulary. Okay, y vamos a añadir otra frase que aplica al future, que en este caso es el uso del going to. So remember, students, that when we talk about future, we can use the auxiliary will. Just like in the first example, I'll buy a house near my job next year, okay? The structure here is that you have to start with a subject, then the auxiliary, the auxiliary here is contracted. Aquí pues el auxiliar will está contraído, bien? Then you have to continue with the verb, the complement, eh, which includes the time expression at the end. In the case of going to, I'm going to start with the sad dick, okay, which is the pronoun I, plus the verb to be, okay, remember that we have three forms to use the verb to be, one of them is am, okay, in this case, because I'm starting the sentence with the pronoun I, in este caso uso la forma del verbo to be, que es am, contraído, bien, plus going to, Okay, and then I have to continue with the verb, the complement, and at the end, a time expression. So we can use both of them to express ideas in the future, guys. Okay, actually, there is um, not a specific uh, difference between both of them. 
just the time that you are going to achieve that action, ok, la única diferencia pues implica en el tiempo en que lo van a realizar, no, esa acción que mencionan. Yes, the time when you are going to execute the action, no, for example, in the sentence, I'll buy a house near my job next year, ok, aquí pues en la expresión primera digo, compraré una casa cerca de mi trabajo el próximo año, but in the case of going to, I'm going to buy a house near my job soon, Aquí yo digo, voy a comprar una casa cerca de mi trabajo pronto, ¿ok? Entonces, digamos que ahí implica la diferencia entre el will y going to. Right, students? Ok, so that's it. Let's continue with more examples. Ok, the first sentence says, Sarah is going to travel to Cusco next week. Ok, according to the picture, that is true because uh, you have a Sarah in the picture. Ok, and you are using the verse to be in singular is plus the going to. But for plural nouns in a sentence, we have to use the verse to be in plural as well, are. For example, they are going to rent an apartment real Zoom. Ok, real Zoom. Mm. Here, the difference between in both of them, it is only the verse to be, right? Aquí la diferencia entre ambos de esas oraciones radica en el verb to be. The first one is for singular and the second is for plural. In the case of the previous example, I am, okay, I'm using am only for the first personal pronoun. En el caso del pronombre singular I, yo, siempre voy a colocar el verbo to be que corresponde que es am, okay? But let's check now the uh, uses of will and going to. Ok, apply it to uh, a context, aplicados a un contexto, ¿bien? For example, we can use will for future facts events, podemos usar will para eventos o hechos futuros, ¿no? Eventos futuros, hechos de eventos futuros, for promises, para promesas and predictions. And we can use going to for future plans decided. Podemos usar going to para los planes futuros que ya están decididos for something that is about to happen. También lo usamos para algo que está a punto de suceder. And finally, for predictions based on present evidence. Para predecir algo pues que eh, de lo que ya tenemos evidencia, ¿no? For example, when you can notice the weather is, is cloudy. Cuando notas que el clima está poco nublado, puedes predecir pues que el clima o que va a llover, ¿no? It's going to rain later. It's going to. Va a llover después. Right? Ok, good. Now let's start practicing, students. Vamos a empezar a practicar. And you have to complete those sentences. All those sentences must be completed with going to. But remember that we have to complete with the verb to be before, ok? So, in letter A is I, space, graduate from high school this year. I'm going to. Ok, here I'm contracting am. I'm going to. In letter B, Lucy is going to get married with Jimmy next week. Lucy is only one person, so the verb to be in singular is. Plus, going to. In letter C, the students are going to go to college next year. Ok, yes, the students are, the verb to be is in plural here because of the number of students. In plural, right? There are many students. Ellos son varios estudiantes, ok? In letter D, Sarah and Claudia are going to get promoted. Remember that we are using here going only in the box because of the preposition. It's outside. Acá la preposición ya está añadida fuera del cuadro, por lo tanto completamos con our The verb to be and going. Ok, good. Letter E, the answer is He is going to travel to Europe next month. Ok, it's the same case. The preposition to is already added to the sentence. Ok, so I have to complete with the verb to be in singular is plus going because the preposition is already taken in the sentence. Ok, so let's continue, students, with the final activity, which is a vocabulary exercise. You only have to match 
uh, the pictures for the correct letters, okay, with the correct phrases. For instance, you have traveled abroad. Which picture is that? Graduate, rent an apartment, start a career, and go to college. Remember that there is one extra word, okay? Hay una palabra extra ahí. Bien, okay, letter C is the first one. Rent an apartment. Then we have letter E, go to college. Letter B, the third picture, graduate, and finally travel abroad. So the extra letter was D, star a career. Yes, we couldn't find any picture related to that phrase, right? Yes, that is true. Okay, perfect. Good job, students. Excellent. Remember to keep practicing. See you next time and thanks for your attention. Bye.